here's what you consider. When you consider the, the consequence of being wrong, let's say we take a vitamin and we're getting healthier and we're getting healthier. And we finally get to this point, this optimal level of vitamin intake for that particular vitamin. And we're, our health is as good as it's going to get. Now, what happens if you keep taking it? Well, eventually, no matter what you take, it can make you sicker. But usually the distance between optimal dose and toxic dose is huge. There's a few exceptions to that, vitamin B6 maybe. But, I mean, you might take 5,000 vitamin C and 50,000 might make you sick. Come on, common sense, uh, maybe I shouldn't take a whole bottle every day. <laughs> okay, now let's talk about chemicals, the pharmaceuticals. Sure, you're gonna, you might get healthier by taking a pharmaceutical, but if you take just a little too much, you're going to get a toxic side effect. Very narrow safety margin. That's why 100,000 people a day die, a, a, week, a year, die from pharmaceuticals. So you got a very narrow safety margin. So what's your first choice? So you, you, he says, this lady with pancreatic cancer, should she take turmeric? Is she getting better? Are they curing her? No. So what's, what's the big question? That's what they call no-brainers. You've got that thing going up, and then you've got it going down. That's right. That's what it is. Does that mean you, you want to stop taking so many that you used to take? Well, no. See, our, our, our deal in this situation is take this amount. Yeah. Now, you can take this amount safely, Yeah. but why? You're wasting this. Okay. Now, if you keep going, yeah. you, you could get, say, uh, some people got, got uh, From lost in the Arctic. From nutrition? Yeah, you can get top. Let me, this is a story that illustrates that. Some people were lost in the Arctic, and they're starving. They shot a polar bear. And so most of the hunters, when they first kill an animal, they, what do they eat first? The liver. And so these hunters were eating the polar bear liver. And about a week later, they were rescued, and they had vitamin A toxicity. Their skin was peeling off, and they had a few other symptoms. But they both recovered. And so they analyzed the vitamin. Polar bear liver has about a million units per ounce. Yikes. And so we have ate a 12 ounce. Uh, vitamin D. Uh, a. Oh, A, rather, yeah. Yeah. So they're eating probably 12 to 20 million units of vitamin A. Well, yeah, they got toxic. But, you know, we, and the, the Russian literature talks about vitamin D. Where they're giving kids 500,000 units a day for a month or two at a time. No toxicity and reversal of many chronic conditions. So most of the time in this country, we take too little to really get the optimal benefit. Look at all the people that left the hospital, the schizophrenics that left the hospital when they took enough niacin. 3,000 milligrams a day. And what's the recommended daily ounce? One or two. See, so sure, it can be toxic, but the risk of not taking enough and being put on medications is much, 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 much greater and much, much, much more expensive. So that, yeah, you can take too much, and if you take too much, you'll get symptoms. But according to the Center for Dis Poison Control Centers, and the, 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 no one's died from vitamins yet. You maybe get a set a record. Well, maybe if your doctor gives you vitamins, they can take his license away, but they won't take it away if he gives uh, you drugs that kill you. <laughs> Uh, okay. Any other questions? Sure. Uh, on the uh, root canal, that's all in your tooth. No, it isn't. See, the root canal, what they do, you, 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 you break the... See, normally, the blood and the lymph... There's the, the, the root canal has blood and lymph vessels, which go up here, and there's actually a flow of liquid from the root of your tooth out through the enamel. There's little tiny ch channels. And that's what keeps healthy teeth healthy, that movement of fluid. Well, when something happens, you get infection or something, and they take out that root, they drill it out, then they put, quote, inert things, and they sometimes they'll put, I don't know, I'm not sure. And, but they don't really, they can't sterilize it. And you've got a foreign body in there, and you reduce the blood flow to that tissue. As the case in point is my daughter who had the uh, root canal and she kept telling the doctor it wasn't healed, it wasn't healed, and he kept saying, oh yeah, it is. Well, she ended up with a heart infection and almost died. 
because of the infection that was not cured from the root canal. Yeah, well, it got into her bloodstream. Yeah, well, you can't really cure it. So you can, you can try, <clears throat> but if, you, if I put a splinter in here, see, everybody understands this. If I had a splinter in here and it got infected, I could take antibiotics and it would get better. And, but then pretty soon, if I stopped the antibiotic, it would come back because you got to get rid of the splinter, the foreign yeah. body in there. Anyway, yeah, but all, if you read this book, it's all sorts of things. Any, any one of those books talks about all these different things, root canals. So then it's, then it's reasonable to think that uh, root canals wouldn't be good, but implants would be. Well, implants usually are with the more inert stuff. But there's still some debate about how it, can you put a foreign object, you know, you put a, you know, artificial hip or <coughs> a bone, anyway. So anyway, it's... Um, this is changing the subject, but I didn't get a paper, and I was wondering if there's any couples that had two that I could have one of. We could. <coughs> Thank you. If people would sign up for the class, we'd have enough free <laughs> Yes. Uh, yeah, I, I've got a gold tooth and a silver filling next together, and it, I went online and there's an article by Colgate that said when you have a gold filling next to a silver filling, it will generate electricity when mixed with saliva. Mm -hmm. And I do get that's the worst. It bothers me all the time. You know. Well, that's right. And that, what's yeah. a battery? You know, you have salt solution and two different minerals. Yeah. And so, yeah, you've got a battery which is mobilizing both those so you're, you're getting a little bit of mercury every time you eat there's a great video on, on YouTube called the smoking tooth and you know the, the, the defense for the dentist is that once you put that amalgam in the mouth and you and it's sealed in there with saliva it becomes inert well they, they took a they took an amalgam a tooth with an amalgam in it and they have some way of video of, of, of taking pictures of mercury vapor and they took that tooth and they rubbed it with an eraser and you just see this green smoke coming off the tooth. When I was at a meeting once they <coughs> isolated some mercury amalgams and a, a doctor, he was talking to someone, he was going to talk about it, he, he had, came around the mercury vapor meter and stuck it in our mouth and said let's get right this number down he, and we read it, rubbed it down. And then he gave us a sticky gum. <coughs> about 20 minutes later he came back again and recorded and mercury vapor was going up and almost in everybody's mouth and so it's not a nerve so if you've still got silver in your mouth you have any sort of a chronic condition some people tolerate these things because their adrenal glands healthy enough and the other stresses in their life aren't overwhelming them that some people go through life with with root canals I'm sorry but I'm saying thinking is that if you've got a chronic condition that isn't getting better you better think about maybe a little different approach rather than just medicating it. Yep. What type of filling would you recommend other than... I, d I don't know. I, you, you have to test your compatibility and have muscle tests and see what's available. You may just need to, if you, can, if you need a root canal, this is a real dilemma. You might just need to get rid of the tooth. I, you know, and that's the real catch-all is which is, are you going to get better if you take the tooth out? Could they replace it with something else? Well, you may have just take the tooth out and get dentures. Then you got plastic. <laughs> <laughs> then you have to put, put everything in a blender before you can eat it. Well, no, no. Here's what you have to. Do. <laughs> now they're getting better. <clears throat> you you've got to decide. You know, if you you've got to make that. There's no universal decision. People live with universal with. But you know, sometimes it's your bank account that makes a decision. <coughs> sometimes one tooth, save one tooth is two thousand dollars or more. You know, anyway, that's your job. Okay, anything else? Not. Keep them thinking. Keep learning.